how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing great. It is Kitchen Talk time with Grandma, and I'm not going to keep you guys too long today. You know, I'm just going to do a little catching up and everything, and um, hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, we're right into the, you know, the first of uh, August, so happy birthday once again to everyone that's celebrating birthday this month or anniversary or whatever it is you're celebrating. I hope it's great. Hope you have lots of fun and make lots of memories, okay? All right, my weekend, what did I do? Hmm, I didn't really do too much this weekend. I really didn't do too much. I um, uh, did some cleaning and stuff around the house, cleaning my closet, stuff like that, getting back on my schedule, my weekly schedule with the bowling and um, going to the gym. Had a few doctor's appointments and all that. I did go, guys. I don't know if you guys remember, but last year I did a sleep test. And uh, they said I had sleep acne. So I finally, I've been on this waiting list for like almost eight months to get this uh, sleep pad. And I finally got it last week. Uh, <laughs> having a little problem mastering sleeping in it at night. I have not made it through a full night of sleeping in it because I'm not, I'm the type of person, and I've told you guys this before, I don't like anything over my face because my face up. Now, the, the, the CPAS that I have is supposed to be the newer version, and it only comes from here, to, from your nose, the bottom of your nose to your mouth, but you got all this stuff around your head. You got this tube hanging out around your head. And uh, I just haven't mastered my sleeping pattern with it because I like to twist and turn. And they tell me I really don't need to sleep on my back, try to sleep on my side, you know, so all that. So I'm still trying to master that. So I'm hoping that I can get in at least a good four to five hours on it because you have to have at least four hours for them to get the data that they need when I go back in a month. So, okay, we'll see. This is just the first week of it. We just getting started. So we'll see how that work out. All right, uh, oh wow. Um, we had a couple of um, people in the entertainment world, in the uh, sports world to pass last week. Uh, Mr. Bill Russell passed last week. I believe he was 88 years old. Uh, he played basketball, and everybody know Mr. Bill Russell. I even knew him, and I didn't really follow basketball. But I think he started his career back in, like, the 50s, into the 60s, up into the 70s, and he passed away. He was very uh, involved with the civil rights back that time, you know, uh, marching with Martin Luther King and being involved with a uh, human rights period. And he used his platform to really speak on, you know, human rights and stuff like that. So I'm sure he's gonna be dearly missed among his fans and family and all that. So rest in peace, Mr. Bill Russell. Uh, we also had uh, in the um, entertainment business, actress uh, Nichelle Nicholas. Uh, she was the first black woman to play in Star Trek. Um, this was, I think, back in the 60s, too, and she was 89, 88 or 89. Her and Mr. Russell was right there close in age, but she passed away, and um, like I said, she was very, uh, very good actress, and she was mostly known for her role that she played in Star Trek. So made both of them, uh, Mr. Russell and Mrs. Nicholas, rest in peace. Um, yeah, so that was a little bit of uh, some of the little entertainment um, that I, you know, a couple, about a month ago now, and I guess I forgot to mention that, you know, everybody probably know that Oprah's father had passed away a little, probably about a month ago now. So yeah, he um, passed away and stuff. So yeah, let's see uh, what else going on in entertainment. Okay, okay, you guys, here that follows Love and Marriage, Huntsville, and the Housewives of Atlanta know that two of those cast mates have came together as a couple. Uh, it's reportedly that uh, Martell, host of Love and Marriage, Huntsville, and Sheree Whitfield 
of the other marriage, a glanter. And she's start she's been on a glanter on and off, you know, for years. She's she was on it for several years and then she was off and then she came back for a minute, and then she was off. So now she's back on it for this season. And you know, when the season started out with that, with love and marriage, she was uh Tyrone had gotten out of prison and they supposed to been hooking up and all this kind of stuff. I mean, really, look, uh, Sheree hasn't really had a great uh, uh, record uh, with men. Uh, her ex-husband and her, you know, all that played out on TV. It wasn't the best relationship, at least from what we could see. And then from that point, she was waiting on Tyrone in prison. And I think I, I've never really saw a lot of men's in and out of Sheree life, which is a good thing because she had, at the time when she first started out on the show, she had young children. And I, that was that's really a good thing with her not uh, being in a lot of different relationships. At least she kept it, if she was, she kept it pretty private. But now she's dating Martell. And we all know from Love and Marriage that Martell and Melanie were married for like 11 or 12 years, somewhere around there. And throughout their marriage, he had been cheating on her multiple times. And it even has been said that he actually cheated on her before they got married. Uh, but once they got married, I know probably the last six or seven years of their marriage, he had been cheating with a young lady named Ariane and ended up having a baby with her. And him and Melanie got a divorce maybe about two years ago now, maybe around that time frame. And um, he's dating Sheree now. There's been pictures all over the social media of them uh, vacationing, it seems like, cause it looked like they was at a beach or something and riding bikes and all this kind of stuff. And of course, people have asked Melanie <laughs> what she think about it. And she don't think anything about it, you know. She's doing her thing and moving on her life. And like she said, she don't have anything to do with what Martell is doing. She couldn't control or had anything to do with what he did when they was married. You know, he clearly was stepping out on the marriage. So she couldn't control that. So whatever he's doing, you know, it is what it is. And you know, it is what it is when it comes to him and Sheree. They're both fully grown people. Sheree is a beautiful woman. I think she just turned like 52 years old and Martell is in his uh, early 40s. He might just be 40, but I know he's right at the 40, 41, 42. And um, you know, if that's what they want to do, they're two grown ass people. Let them date, let them do whatever they want to do. You know, I, would, I like Sheree. Like I said, she's a beautiful woman. I do hope she finds someone that's true and really wants to be with her because, you know, they're saying on social media, you guys know how social media is. You have to take it with a grain of salt, but they're saying that Martell is just using her for the public publicity and, you know, that's what he's doing because she's a little bit more well-known than he is and he, she's been in the business a little bit longer than him. I don't know. She says she's just enjoying life, so hey, kudos to her. I hope everything work out with whoever, her, Martell, whoever. The only thing I have with Martell, because also in the social media, they're saying that him and Melanie, he's taking Melanie back to court to try to get full custody of their kids because he feel like she's too busy and she's not spending enough time with their kids. And I'm like, ain't that the killer calling the pot black? Because lately he just been all over the place. He from state to state, from here to there. So, you know, he's doing his thing and it's okay for him to go from place to place, dropping their kids off at his mom or wherever. And if it's not okay for Melanie to be out working, because all the videos I've seen of her, she's actually working. And when she's going out of state, uh, and she's leaving her kids with her mom or whoever she feels is secure for, to be with, take care of her kids while she's out working. So how can he say she's busy when he seemed to be as busy doing whatever he's doing? So I don't know. I tell you, it's these reality shows, you know, they put their business out there for us to see. And then when we comment it on, they want to come at us hard or or come back and all this kind of stuff. But, you know, if he, if him and Melanie are going back to court for, you know, custody, continually custody battle over the kids, I hope the judge see that Melanie is a good, you know, parent. And I also think Martell, to a certain extent, is a good parent too. I just think that 
he's trying to do whatever he can to hurt Melanie. I think he just does extra just to hurt her or just to try to piss her off. And half of the time it doesn't even work because like I said, Melanie's doing her own thing. She just had a concert a week or so ago and she's just doing her own thing, you know, and she's trying to really find herself in the business world. She's got her skin line. She's doing her concert. She's still, you know, doing this kind of stuff. And, you know, she's still, I guess, you know, they're, I guess they're probably taping for the next uh, Love and Marriage Huntsville. <sighs> so, you know, Martell, just uh, let it go. Just be grateful that you have 50-50 custody of your kids and you have that time to spend with them because it's you get them every other weekend and you you know you have your mother and whoever else that you you depend on or you you know need help with watching your kids so just enjoy the time you have with your kids and doing what you're doing but you guys know what before i get off of here <laughs> when i was saying all this stuff about him and sheree my mind went straight to arion because I'm like, you got to be looking like a boo-boo the clown or, the, you know, looking foolish because this man you gave your time to, five years of your time or whatever more, however long y'all was together, and he immediately after getting a divorce or finalizing his divorce and all this kind of stuff, he started, re uh, you know, getting out there and, and, and getting with other women, you know? he 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 just not even publicly... You know, you went through all this and you waited for this man to, to, to get a divorce and, you know, you had your child, which that child ain't got nothing to do with it. And now here he is all over social media with some other woman. You know, he's just flooding charade and, and all this stuff. And you, what, what are you, you know, what she got going on? You know, how, I wonder how does she feel about this? They asking Melanie how she feel about Martell and Sheree. I wonder how do Arion feel about Montel, Martell and Sheree because it's clearly that he's not trying to make a future with her and he has clearly moved on. Huh. It's just crazy. You know, sometimes we as women, we, we sacrifice our, you know, our values or ourselves to be with these, with different, with men. So I guess it goes both ways. Okay. So nobody be calling me tripping because I know there's probably, it probably goes both ways. But, you know, for that to go down and he's over there doing his thing and going to Atlanta every other weekend or however often he's getting over there to spend some time with Sheree. And she's, you know, left out the picture. I mean, I'm sure he still spends some time with their child and get their child, you know, when on his uh, visitations or whatever him and her has arranged. But that's just kind of crazy. You know, that's kind of crazy. What goes around comes around. You know what they say? He cheated on his wife with her and now he done sleep, slipped on away from her onto another woman. You know, and I don't know if they supposed to been into a relationship or what, but it's just kind of crazy. I was thinking about that. And that's just ground of thought on it, you know. But uh, that's it. Just wanted to throw a little bit of my comment out there about Sheree and Martell. So I'm about to let you guys go, and I'm going to get on up out of here and go on about my day. But before I go, guys, don't forget to go back and share Grant a video. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment if you have any comment, but you guys got to remember these are Grandma's opinion and we all have them and I'm okay for discussions, but these are my opinions, okay? Guys, have a great day. Be kind to everybody you come in contact with and I'll check you guys out next time around.